Hey guys, David here and welcome to another video. So around me you can see all bunch of pieces. Uh, you can see here my old laser cutter that I've been using for a while, but it's kind of a little bit in pieces and that's because uh, as you've probably seen on my channel, I reviewed the Laser Master 2 uh, a while ago and added my endurance laser onto it. And I actually like this setup a lot more than my current laser setup. As it has a larger build area and the controller is more optimized for laser cutting, so it actually works faster as well. So what I'm going to do in this video is uh, take this old enclosure apart, reuse some of the parts like the orange tinted window and the exhaust fan, and then uh, use these wood pieces here to build a new quick and dirty enclosure around this laser to make it slightly more usable as without any sort of smoke management it really is a pain to use. Before I get started with the video, I want to quickly give a thanks to Endurance Lasers for sponsoring it. They make really high quality laser diodes uh, in a wide variety of wattages to perfectly suit your needs. I am personally using the 10 watt plus laser from them and it's a really great tool to have around. Uh, it's very powerful, you can easily cut uh, thin ply plywood, plexiglass, a whole bunch of uh, other stuff with it. So it's uh, quite nice to have. So make sure to check out Endurance Laces at the link below. And if you use this link down below, you also get 50 bucks off plus free shipping on any order over $150. So that sounds like a pretty good deal to me. So here we have the stuff that I was after, uh, the ventilation fan, the ducting for it, the windows, some LED strips. Uh, I still have the printer frame back here, haven't decided yet what I'm gonna do with it, uh, probably not much for now, but it still is a decent motion, motion platform so I might use it for a different project in the future. So this stuff uh, needs all a good cleaning because all of the wood smoke and everything has made it really filthy. And then after that, I'm gonna start dry fitting everything the, to be able to mark where I need to cut out holes uh, and everything, and then we can get on to the assembly itself. So here we are, one paint job later. Uh, I think it turned out uh, pretty all right. Uh, the coverage of the white on the inside is not 100%. Uh, the white was just not covering. This is already like three or four coats. So I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. Um, but I think it is now time 
to start installing everything and see this whole thing come together. Alright guys, so here we are, uh, pretty much all done. I hooked up everything, the air is connected, uh, there's single power outlet, a power plug in the back uh, where I can connect it to power, whereas before I had like the exhaust valve separately and whatnot, so this is much much neater. I can turn it on at the back with a switch and then have these two switches to uh, turn on and off uh, the light and the exhaust fan and of course the endurance uh, laser uh, panel where I can control the laser itself. You can also see that this is uh, still tethered to my laptop, which is just how the uh, Arturo Laser Master works. Uh, it's not that big of a deal since laser cutting you're not uh, usually running that long as uh, 3D printing. Before uh, I, on my Ender 3 I had uh, Octoprint set up, so I didn't have to have a laptop tethered to it. But for me uh, this trade-off is worth it and if I really get bothered by it I could always set up Octoprint again. But I don't really see a reason for it. Other than that, I'm really happy with uh, how the whole look and finish turned out. Form practice is also really uh, great, as I've already mentioned in the review of, and the conversion of it. Uh, it's like big enough for most projects, but still not too big to fit on a table and makes it a really great hobby machine. So I think all that's left to do is give this thing a try. I'll show you some cutting uh, in action and uh, leave you with that. That's it from me. If you like this video, please leave a like down below. Make sure to be subscribed so not miss any future content. And also, if you have any other questions, leave a comment down below. So thanks for watching and until next time.